When Steffi found out about Sheila Carter's memorial service, she didn't react well. She opposed the idea and felt that Deacon Sharp should keep his grief private. Subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on CBS The Bold and The Beautiful. However, Steffi didn't really have the authority to dictate how Deacon should mourn. Deacon genuinely cared for Sheila and deserved the chance to mourn in his own way. Likewise, Deacon did the right thing by informing Finn about the memorial and letting him decide whether to attend. Steffi's attempt to pressure Finn into skipping the memorial took away his freedom to choose, which put him in a tough spot where he had to go against Steffi's wishes. Liam Spencer criticized Finn for attending the memorial, seeing it as a betrayal of Steffi. However, this reaction might be too extreme considering that, from what the characters know, Sheila is gone and no longer a threat. Finn should be able to say his goodbyes in his own way, regardless of Sheila's past actions. While Steffi isn't obligated to mourn Sheila or understand Finn's feelings, making a fuss over Finn's need for closure seems unnecessary and unproductive. It's possible that Finn is mourning the idea of the relationship he could have had with his birth mother more than he's mourning Sheila herself. Given the circumstances, Steffi should avoid making Finn feel guilty for seeking closure. Even though Steffi eventually accepted Finn attending the memorial, her initial reaction sharply contrasts with Hope's sympathetic support for Finn's loss. Steffi's behavior might unintentionally drive Finn towards Hope, potentially adding fuel to Hope's desire for revenge if she decides to pursue Finn romantically. Our predictions for the bold and the beautiful suggest that the tension between Hope and Steffi over Finn will escalate, leading to more drama. We'll keep you informed about any updates in this ongoing storyline. Sheila's reputation caused a hurried process of identifying her body, with the forensic team and coroner relying solely on Steffi Forrester Finnegan's confirmation. Surprisingly, neither Deacon nor her son John Finn Finnegan thought to thoroughly check her body or inspect the body bag. The coroner also failed to conduct a proper verification, resulting in Sheila's identity being officially declared on the death certificate. During the memorial, Deacon, who hadn't seen the body's details or official reports, realizes the body isn't Sheila's. Despite the complications, he contacts Finn before proceeding with the cremation. The crematorium staff allows the family to take one final look at the presumed loved one. Finn, feeling disbelief, examines the body's features and documents, only to confirm with Deacon that it's not his mother. They agree to keep this discovery confidential, but wonder where Sheila might be. Aware of Sheila's connections in Genoa City, Wisconsin, and her other children, Deacon considers reaching out to them. Unfortunately, Finn's attempts to find his siblings prove fruitless, leading them to understand the necessity of involving law enforcement in locating Sheila. Although Chief Bradley Baker isn't leading the investigation, they hope to locate Sheila with his help. Finn and Deacon acknowledge that Sheila couldn't have orchestrated her own death, planning to address the mistake with the crematorium before starting their search, beginning with tracing sugar. Stay tuned, like and share our video to get the latest updates and spoilers on soap opera.